Hi, it's Rich here. I just wanted to quickly show you how to find Creative Commons or royalty-free or freely usable images for your blog posts, as well as some clip art. So let me just show you first here Unsplash. This is a really good website for finding royalty-free images. And let's just search for something here. I'm going to search for, let's see, BC Fairies. Just to show you, you can find some pretty specific things. So here are some BC Fairies images you can find. But I'm going to do a different search for now, just because you can't find BC Fairies on Clipart very easily. I'm going to search for goats. And here are a whole bunch of goats. So I'm going to click on this. And this was a goat picture shared by Alexis Photos is the name here. And so we can download this. If I click on the download button up at the top there, this will download to my hard drive. I'll hit the save button. And you can see it allows me to easily copy the citation in information that I can put in the blog post so I can properly cite the image. And I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So that's Unsplash. Another great website is Pexels. And again, it is for images and videos. So I'm just going to put in goats here just so you can see how it works here. We've got a whole bunch of goats. So I'm going to click on this one. I like this one. Again, click on the download button and hit save. If I click on the info button here, gives me all the information about this website, including the photographer. Um, not quite as easy to cite as Unsplash, but still pretty good. So here's the noun project. I'm going to search for goats. And here we are, a whole bunch of goats. I'll click on this one just so you can see the larger version. There we go. Next clip art website is public domain vectors. And again, I'm going to search for goats here. And you'll see these, this clip art is a little bit different in that it is, they're colored. So if I click on this, actually that's more of a mountain goat, but there it is. I can download this one to use on my website. Last thing I quickly want to show you is Google because the Google image search uh, is something that a lot of people use. The thing you need to be careful is that most of the images that are found via Google image search are copyright, which uh, technically speaking, you'd need permission from the copyright holder uh, before you use it. But I'll show you how you can find Creative Commons licensed images on Google image search. So again, I'm going to search for goats. And then I'll click on the Images tab to see goat images. And here we have a whole bunch of goat images. It's very nice and it allows you to limit it to different types of goats. But almost all of these are going to be, or a lot of them are going to be copyrighted. So to find the Creative Commons licensed images, we click on Tools, and then Usage Rights drop down, and then Creative Commons licenses. And then here are Creative Commons licensed images. They need, do need to be cited, of course, so there's Wikimedia, which um, is all Creative Commons licensed. There's a Flickr one, LibreShot. Uh, let's just scroll down here. That's a nice one here. It says licensable. Let's visit the website quick. And just looking for licensing information on the page. So this is public domain, free for personal and commercial use. So you can download this. You do need to cite it, and the easiest way to be cite it would be to um, get the URL and then the name of the photographer to put that in your post. So there it is. Uh, that's an uh, easy way to find freely creative uh, licensed images that are often Creative Commons licensed or uh, public domain images. Next, we'll talk about how to add those to your blog and properly cite them.